Hi, my fellow Virginians and Langley Leopards. I miss you all so dearly. Now, I hope today you'll join me for an adventure as we travel across Virginia to review the five regions that we learned about earlier this school year. So we'll start out in the coastal plain region, we'll cross the fall line into the Piedmont region, then the Blue Ridge mountain region, then the Valley and Ridge, and end up in the Appalachian Plateau. All right, so I have some pictures of my travels around Virginia that I can't wait to share with you, and also some other pictures that I found online to go with it. All right, so let's start out. right here in Hampton where we live. You know we live in the coastal plains region where we've got beaches and the land is very very flat. See no mountains or even really hills here in Hampton. Now like you I was lucky to grow up in this area and I what I love about living in the coastal plain is our beaches. Ha! Ah, that's me as a baby playing at the beach. And we have so much tourism with our beaches. It's very low and flat. There I am at Virginia Beach with all the big hotels. And we went fishing too. That's another industry you know we have here. And also in the coastal plain too, it even includes um, parts of Northern Virginia. So here I am uh, on the part of Virginia. Whoop, this is <laughs> getting used to this green screen. Um, right here on the Potomac River. And then you can see the Washington Monument there um, in D.C. So a lot of part of the Coastal Plain region, we have lots of rivers and we're close to um, lots. Of, we also have lots of government and military in that region, too. We also, so continuing on our road trip, we grow lots of peanuts here. This is a, sign, a picture I took while I was passing by, a sign for our Virginia peanuts. All right. So now as we keep on traveling across Virginia, you know that if we start, if we start in Hampton, we see we've got our rivers, the Potomac, the Rappahannock, the York, and the James River. So as we're driving up the peninsula, we get to the fall line right around Richmond. I've got some cool pictures I want to share with you from there. Right, oh, see? There's our fall line. Now the fall line is the natural border between where the land is really low on the coastal plains to where we start to have some hills going to mountains um, in the hills in the Piedmont region. So here's what the fall line looks like on a map. But let me show you what it looks like in real life. Whoa, look. So we're on the James River but there's lots and lots of rocks in the river because this is where the land starts to change. So think about when the people were explore, first exploring Virginia, they were headed up the James River, headed inland, headed inland, and then they get to all these rocks. Well, they couldn't go any further up the river. That's why they made a city of Virginia. Oh, and here's a picture that I took of the fall line when I was at a park in Richmond one day on Belle Island. You can see all the rock right in the middle of the James River. Oh, and you know why Richmond is important? It's because it's the capital of Virginia. So here, here is the capital building of Virginia. That means that's where our state government meets and the governor's house is uh, close by. So now from Richmond as we travel west, we go to the Piedmont region. Now the Piedmont region is known for its rolling hills. They also grow a lot of, they also grow a lot of apples there. Oh, wow, look at those beautiful rolling hills. Oh, this is from my trip to an apple orchard. They'll have apples, of course, in the Piedmont region, and they also grow lots of corn. I think we grow corn here in the um, coastal plain region, too. But they also have lots of corn growing. Hope I didn't get lost in the corn maze. And then 
we go on to the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. Now, fourth graders, you're probably smart enough to know that the mountains aren't really blue, but they do really look like it, don't they? Of course, you can see they're covered in trees, so the trees are green. But the way that we see these old, rounded mountains in the distance, they really do look blue. Oh, and here's from a time when I was driving down the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's a great adventure with some beautiful views of our beautiful state. <coughs> and then we travel into the Valley and Ridge. Now, the valley, you know, just means the space between the mountains. And the ridges are still mountains. So both the Blue Ridge Mountain and the Valley and Ridge um, region, they both have lots of beautiful mountains with um, lots of places where you could pick apples and also even places where you could go skiing or snowboarding. Yeah! And so we have a lot of beautiful mountains here in Virginia. Here's a picture that uh, a picture that I took from a city I love to visit, Roanoke. The, so in this picture, you can see the beautiful Roanoke Valley. The mountains are on the outside, and then you've got the big, deep valley in the middle in the Valley and Ridge region. And here's Roanoke at night. Oh, and here I am with my family in the Valley and Ridge region in the valley, looking around in the mountains. Now, you might know this about me, or you might have guessed from my shirt. I spent a lot of time in the Valley and Ridge region because that's where I went to college, at Virginia Tech. Ta-da! Oh, and at Virginia Tech, we love to go hiking to see the beautiful mountains and valleys and ridges and even some waterfalls too. Isn't that cool? The, um, the Blue Ridge Mountain and Valley and Ridge region, they are kind of the source of many rivers because when you think about it, water flows downhill. So if it rains in the mountains, the water from the mountains flows to the rivers and then those rivers flow to the bay and then the bay flows to the ocean. So here are our physical regions of Virginia. We've got the coastal plain, which you can see has the eastern shore over here, and then the Chesapeake Bay and Atlantic Ocean are the two bodies of water that we learn, need to learn about, as well as the rivers. Then we've got the fall line here in the middle, and then the Piedmont region, the Blue Ridge Mountains region, the Valley and Ridge region. And then the last one we're going to learn talk about is the Appalachian Plateau. Now, the Appalachian Plateau is a part of the Appalachian Mountains, just like the Blue Ridge Mountains and Valley and Ridge Mountains are also a part of the Appalachian Mountains, which aren't just in Virginia. They go way far north and way far south. And so the Appalachian Plateau is this high elevated area of land which is known for its coal. This is coal that I got from when I visited um, the Appalachian Mountains. And so they, the miners, they go and they mine in the mountains. They probably use machinery now um, to get coal that's burned for energy. But right now, though, really in Virginia, they're finding a lot, um, a lot of other sources for energy, too. Let's see. Oh, and also uh, in the southwest part of Virginia, you will also be learning about the Cumberland Gap. So the Cumberland Gap is where there's like an empty space, a little area, path, a nice pass, what, pass or pathway through the mountains so that people from Virginia could travel westward, maybe to Tennessee or to Kentucky. Oh, 
Oh, now this map I really wanted to share with you because it shows why we have the five different regions of Virginia. Because in the east, where we live, the land is really low and really flat. Then as you travel west, we start to get those rolling hills. And then in the western part of our state, in the Blue Ridge Mountain and Valley and Ridge region, we have lots of mountains. And that's what this topographical map shows. All right, Virginians, now I want you to quiz yourself. Do you know the regions of Virginia?